Hey everyone, it's Nancy Ann. Today I have for you my January stitch fix. I think this is my 17th fix. And I'm excited to get into this, but I am a little concerned about a pair of boots in here. So let's see what happens. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're returning. I just really appreciate my regular subscribers and the people who watch me um, just regularly on all sorts of different types of videos. You guys mean the world and I really do think I have the best viewers on the planet. Before we get into this stitch fix, um, I do want to say we've had recently a lot of really big kind of stressful life things happen that we need to deal with. So moving forward i'm not sure how regular i'm going to be able to be about recording i'm going to try my best to keep up but there are some things that are just simply going to have to have our attention so if you don't see me as regularly don't worry i'm not leaving i'm just dealing with stuff that has to be dealt with um, i don't want to get into any more detail than that but just trust me if and, and we, we could be fine. It could be I keep up with videos just fine. At the very least, I do want to try and keep putting my Thursday videos out of fashion, just like this one. Um, but if I miss something, I will put it up in the community tab that, you know, I wasn't able to record. And I hope you guys will be able to forgive me. It's just this is some pretty big stuff and we kind of need to deal with it. So, OK, now now we got that out of the way. Let's move on to Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is a styling service. I have the how to's and wherefores of uh, how this works down in my cliff notes in the drop down box if you would like to go down there and check it out. Um, in short, a stylist curates five items for you after you have filled out a profile online and paid a $20 styling fee. Um, she sends those to you in the comfort of your own home to try anything you purchase. The styling fee is credited back towards. If you keep all five pieces, you save 25% off of the entire uh, box. And you see, what was the other important thing I wanted to tell you? Oh yeah, you have three days to try and decide. So many things rattling around in my brain. Um, if you use my link down below, you will save $25 off your first fix, and I will save $25 also. Stitch fix can range from not too expensive at all, um, you know, like probably the $40 range on shirts and things, up to very expensive depending on what you ask for. So you can get a sweet deal if you apply that credit and you haven't tried a fix before. Alrighty, let's get into it. Um, oh, I had asked the stylist if I could find a pair of western booties i have great luck with stitch fix shoes and they did send me a pair of booties in the preview they have a preview where you get i think 10 items and you can choose up to five to be sent and then if you don't pick five the stylus fills in the holes when i got my preview there was a pair of boots in there but i'm not sure if they were that they were western booties i don't think they were so why i didn't not choose them and just kick it back at her and say, hey, can you find me a pair of Western booties? I don't know. I keep doing this with Stitch Fix. I keep picking things on my preview, even they weren't exactly, even though they weren't exactly what I was looking for. Um, and I'm not convinced that that preview is chosen by the stylist. I think an algorithm might be choosing it and the stylist doesn't step in until it's time to make the note and possibly fill items in because you didn't pick five. So. Let's see what happens. That's why I'm doing the unboxing with you because a lot of times I'll start in the clothes. I haven't been doing that recently because I've had reasons based on, you know, you guys seeing my reaction to actually unbox with you. So uh, I'll have Sam put down when I start trying the items on right here, the time, in case you just want to skip this part. Okay, let's see what we got here. So always there is a return mail envelope to put anything you don't love and don't want to keep in. There is the envelope that has your stylus note and the pricing sheet. I'm going to try and save the pricing sheet for the end so it doesn't influence my decisions. We've got our little bundle sitting here on top. There it is. It looks like there's a pair of jeans. I asked her to give me some cozy pieces for going into the new year. This looks promising and a little scary because I don't want to spend a small fortune. I love Stitch Fix. <laughs> and now let's see what the shoes look like. Oh boy. I know they're black. I remember that. Nope. 
They are not Western style, and I thought they were going to be the sock booties, and they are. And it looks like they're they're stuck together. They're friends. So obviously no one's tried these on before. So there they are. They're just kind of a plain booty. I'll try them, but I don't think this is what I'm looking for right now. Now let's just get into our bundle. Everything falls out. Start on top. This is a really cute animal print. Oh, it's a cardigan. Oh, I like it. So it's kind of like gradiated. You've got the animal print at the top and then it fades out going towards the bottom. That's kind of cute. Is that, oh, those, that's a pocket, pockets in it. And is there buttons? There are no buttons, it just hangs open. I kind of prefer that and it's incredibly soft. So I'm sure you can see the print there. Next item, this is by Pink Clover. I think that is a Stitch Fix house brand. It's not a super soft sweater, but it's not scratchy either. It looks like kind of a marled red or rusty burgundy color. Just a regular crew neck sweater, it looks like, with some ribbing around the cuffs in the bottom. Now we have, oh, this is pretty. This is by Calvin Klein. Let me check sizes. This one is a medium, so that should fit me in Calvin. It's got the ruched waist or the smocked waist. It's a wrap style on top. It's got that ruffle around the edges, sheer sleeves. Very cute and real nice wide um, ruched sleeves there. And now the pants, these are, if I remember correctly, these were kind of expensive. These are by Liverpool. These are a size 12, 31. I've been raising my size to 12 because I felt like my pants were too tight. Um, and I know like an eight really fits me in the waist, but I'd rather risk the waist being too big than risk the hips being too tight at this point. So we've got, it looks like a real nice pair. Oh, I like the wash on this, nice and dark. Looks like it's gonna be a straight leg. I kind of like these. Oh, and the button front. I love a button fly. Okay, so there's our five items. Let's get into the try on. Ruger is joining us today. He's down here taking a little snooze while mama records. He just loves this. This has become part of his routine and I think it makes him really, really happy. Um, also, if I sound a little stuffy, it's because I'm congested. So sorry about that. <laughs> and I kept it real simple with the hair today. I just let the perm be itself. Um, I'm not feeling 100%, so if I seem a little lackluster, that's why, but this is such a great fix, and I did want to get it recorded for you guys. Well, let's start off with the Liverpool jeans. I love these jeans. Um, I don't need another pair of jeans, but man, do these fit good, except for the waist. The waist is a little gappy on me here, just a little bit in the back, and that's okay with me because I, don't, I need another pair of jeans like I need another hole in the head. Um, I love... I love the buttons up the front. The fit is fantastic. They're not distressed at all. They kind of have a little bit of a dressier feel to me, I feel like. And they're a little bit of a boot cut. They're not a straight, straight leg like I thought. They're actually a boot cut. So I'm really loving these jeans. They're fantastic. The waist was like an inch and a half, two inches smaller. Uh, I, would be, I would be in business. And now the boots. The boots are cute. I like them. I really don't need them right now. If I'm going to be spending money on booties, I want it to be a Western style. I don't think that's her fault. I said I would keep them. I think if I'd have kicked them back at her, because I know Stitch Fix has booties in my size, I think she would have replaced them with uh, Western booties. So we'll, we'll try for it the next time. This is Tracy. She styled me before. and She really does a pretty good job. Um, one of these days, I'm just going to kick everything back and see what she comes up with. Just let her choose all five pieces on her own. And Tracy, I know you watch my videos, so thank you so much for great styling, as always, on this one as well. I'm going to come in close in a minute for the um, shirt. I just want to give you a closer up because this is such a gorgeous piece. So I'll come right back with that and the cardigan. Here we are with the beautiful Calvin Klein shirt. I've changed the angle in my camera a little bit. I have it down a little bit lower. What do you guys think about this? Do you like it better lower or do you like it better when I have it up higher? Let me know if you even noticed a difference. But anyway, um, this shirt is beautiful. Uh, it's got all the features that I pointed out when I unboxed. I especially like the smocked wrist. This deep red color with the black I think is absolutely beautiful. I normally don't like tie-dye. I wouldn't call this tie-dye. This almost looks like someone took a paintbrush and ran it over 
um, for the print. Just love it. It's got a ruched waist and it's got the ruffled, um, the ruffled top. It does have a modesty snap in there, which I like because it makes getting in and out of it really easy. Let me turn around backwards. Let you see the back. Isn't it pretty? Um, I think I would go up a size in this actually. It just feels to me like the waist is a little bit, not, not necessarily too tight, but it's riding up a little bit too high and it's, there's a bump where the waist of the jeans is. And I think if it was a little bit bigger, it would just be a little bit for, more forgiving with that. Although I will say it's fitting well through the shoulders, but just feels a little short waisted on me, I guess. Maybe not. It's a pretty top. I don't need another top like this. I just, I, but I do think it's absolutely gorgeous. I can't remember if I picked this out of the preview or if she sent it to me, but it's a stunner. We'll see the price in a little bit. It won't be super cheap because it is a Calvin Klein and Calvin Klein styles tend to work real well on me. They're kind of like ladylike and often just a little bit glamorous. And that's sort of the style I like to, um, I like to wear. Now she did suggest wearing this cardigan over top of this shirt. Not sure I would put these together, but maybe I'm missing something. I think she's treating the cardigan like it is a neutral. I love this. This is, this is the first time I've slipped it on. This is beautiful. I'm going to tuck that tag up in there. This is so comfortable. I love an animal print. I love the color gray. I've actually been kind of needing a gray cardigan. Wow, I love this. This is so comfy really cozy. I have a lot of cardigans now and I love them. Now I do have a gray plaid that I got from a Mod Lily. Um, they sent me items for review that I think that was Mod Lily. That's a nice one too. It has a hood, but this doesn't. And this just feels a little easier to wear. So soft pockets on the side. I love this. Okay. So there's those four items. I'll be back with the last one, this little sweater right here. Last item in this fix is this really honestly comfy sweater by Pink Clover. Now this doesn't have the ultra soft feel that the gray one does. It's a little bit of a texture to it. And it's got kind of like that marled type of reddish, dark red type color. Um, but it, it really is comfortable and it drapes nicely, I think. I'm not sure it does a whole lot for me. It's a very comfy little sweater. I have, you know, approximately six million sweaters <laughs> at this point. I don't think I need another one, even a lightweight one like this, but it certainly is comfortable. I love the little scoop around the bottom. It just gives you a little bit of partial fanny coverage back there. So this is a sweet little sweater. I just don't think that I need it. All right, I'm going to come back with some prices and we'll talk about the box. Are you ready to get into some prices and brands on this? We know a couple of the brands. I have a feeling this is going to be an expensive box because of the Liverpool and Calvin Klein names that are here, but we'll see. I did go ahead and slide the jeans off. I put on my Mavi jeans that I got from a Stitch Fix months ago. These are really comfortable and soft and the quality is great. So um, if you want to try a good pair of jeans, these are the boyfriend style. Uh, I would recommend Mavi for comfort and just versatility. And again, I got them from a Stitch Fix. I've gotten some really great pieces from Stitch Fix over the past 14, 15 or so months I've been doing this channel. Okay, in order, let's go through this one. The Liverpool Exposed Button Fly Boot Cut Jean in Indigo. These are size 12. They're $109. So remember I said I thought they were a little pricier in the preview? I was right, 109 These are fabulous. They're a little bit gapy at the waist though, so I will be passing on those. Plus, I don't need another pair of jeans. I really have too many. Up next is the Mia Rudy Stretched Booty. So these were the Mia brand. It was hard to tell. Uh, in black, size 11, these are $69. These are perfectly fine. They were a pull-on. I think I failed to mention that when I tried them on, but they're a pull-on style. Kind of, I think they call them a sock booty. They're fabulous little boots. It's just not anything that I could use right now. Well, I could use them, but I want to hold out for a Western booty. Then the Pink Clover N Nicole Textured Sweater in dark pink, size medium. This is only $22.99. Okay, now I'm rethinking if I need another sweater. This is really, I think it's cute. I mean, I don't think it's 
super flattering. I don't think there's anything wrong with it and it's really easy to wear, but then isn't $23 too much even if you're getting something you don't really need? So I'm gonna think through this one. What do you think? Should I just go ahead and keep it? Then we have the Calvin Klein Faux Wrap uh, Ruffle Blouse in red, size medium. This one's $79.50. I think that's a pretty standard price on a Calvin Klein blouse. Don't need any more dressy blouses like this, but isn't it gorgeous? I, this is just stunning. It's gonna be painful putting it back in the box, but I'm struggling to wear all of the blouses I have of this style now, so it's gonna to have to go back. And lastly, probably my favorite item out of the box is the uh, Babo Jemmy Brushed Open Pocket Cardigan, size gray, size medium. This one is $58. It's cute. I have a lot of cardigans now. This was so soft and comfortable. Oh look, it also has a little bit of a band around the waist. I did not notice that. Can you see? Sewn in there. Um, I did not notice that when I was trying it on. So some nice detailing on this. I really love the print. I think it's gorgeous. I'm gonna think about that one. I think Babo is how you pronounce that, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So, um, and I will list these items down below to the best of my ability along with links for them. So you can go down and either purchase them or try them for yourself. Stitch Fix has something called Freestyle. So you can also purchase just right off the site instead of having to ask for a fix if you would prefer that. But for the $25 credit, you need to use my referral link and get a fix, get the box. Okay, total on the box, $338.49. The buy all discount is 25, 25% is 84.62, which brings the order subtotal down to 253.87. Not too bad for five pieces of clothing, one Liverpool and one Calvin Klein. Um, if you pay the $20 styling fee, that would credit back towards it too, so then it would bring it down to 233.87. I get the style pass after you've had a certain number of fixes um, they will often ask you if you would like to have the style pass um, talked about it before it is $49 a year and that $49 does credit back towards anything you purchase also and then you just get unlimited fixes um, it's a great deal if they offer it to you I would encourage you to pick up on it or to, to get it you don't there's nothing to lose because you get your $49 back in clothes and so mine's coming up this month in January and I'm going to renew it because you guys like Stitch Fix. Um, the, some of my most popular videos are Stitch Fix. I like Stitch Fix. I'm loving my stylist, so I'm going to keep it up. Not sure I'm gonna keep anything out of this box, but we'll see. I'm gonna sleep on it like I always do and think about it, but I wanna thank you very much for coming and watching. Yes, it was my 17th fix. Um, I really appreciate it. Would love some feedback from you guys on what you think. And if you would, again, just give the video a quick like if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you would consider subscribing. I would just be thrilled and honored. I always get a tickle when I, uh, or I get tickled, not a tickle. I get tickled when I hear someone subscribing. Um, comments down below, so much fun for me. Hit the notification bell if you want notification of upcoming videos. I really appreciate you guys being here. I know your time is valuable. I only know you only have so much time during the day. And the fact that you spend just a little bit of it with me, it really means the world. And we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye and be blessed. I, no, oh shoot. Yeah, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. It's going to sound good. Ruger is joining us today. He is over here taking a little snooze. He loves it when mama records. Something about this just makes that little guy... Mm -mm.